big topic we have here in Escondido is police. More specifically, police harassment or police brutality. I'll just be asking four simple questions. What are your thoughts about police? What are your thoughts about police harassment? Any experiences that have shaped your race and or identity here in Escondido? And number four, any intervention strategies that can improve the relationship between the community and the police? I'll be using raw video to show the realness of this situation. What are your thoughts about police? Police. Um, they are needed, but they have too much power and they overstep that their boundaries and at times, especially in communities of color, they seem to harass and pretty much scare the community. That's why there's, there isn't a much connection between the community and police. What are your thoughts about police? Me personally, I'm not really sure how I feel about them, honestly. Uh, uh, as a kid, uh, I would see them and I'd be with like, my friends and I'd feel a little intimidated. I just felt like they were watching me. Uh, I'm not sure if that's because of my ethnicity, maybe. Uh, any experiences with police that have shaped your race and or identity in Escondido? Um, pretty much, <clears throat> they make me feel like a criminal because I've been pulled over and I've seen how they approach me because I'm brown. They always seem to, they make me feel like I'm in danger because of they walk, they approach me with their hand on the gun. Like, what am I gonna do? It's, they pretty much, they make me feel like being Latino, being, being Chicana is a bad thing. And also being, com being coming from a mixed citizenship family, um, it's not, it only, it shapes my identity as like, I, being a daughter of immigrants, it's, it's terrifying to know that if my parents get pulled over, there's a chance of them being documented, I mean, being deported, especially in this video, because they have a connection between ICE and the cops. Any experiences with police that have shaped your race and or identity in Escondido? Yes, there have been many experiences um, that have shaped my race and identity. Um, one being that I want to be more passionate about helping my community because of these injustices that I have seen in my own community. Um, one being the collaboration with ICE for many years and, you know, like many individuals being scared for being stopped by a minor infraction and being deported for that minor infraction, which is very controversial. The whole bringing in um, ICE to our city. See, like, is that harassment? I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure they're taking orders. They're trying to, it's all, it's all government. It's all right. higher, hierarchy. It's beyond the, the police. Yeah, it's, so I'm not really sure it's fair to say it's because they want to, maybe they have to. Mm -hmm. But like having them here, like this whole community, like for the most part, Escondido is Hispanic, I would say. I, mm -hmm. I mean, large population. Large, the, the, a large amount. Yeah. And then you hear that type of thing going on, and then you have people living in fear. They don't want to go out. Um, they're like in uh, my parents' case, yeah. which they are illegal immigrants. <laughs> my, um, my mom is like scared to walk to the liquor store that's five minutes away from my house. I don't mm -hmm. like. I don't think that's helping or benefiting the community anyway, shape or form. Having people afraid to go do groceries. So that definitely ties into your race yeah, and yeah, identity. Yeah, that definitely affects me and my family, my family for the most part because I am here legally so I don't have anything to fear but I, I fear for my, my mother, Parents, right. my father, I fear for my, 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 my family. You start to become fearful of your own local enforcement so if you're fearful of your own local enforcement how can you trust them and if there is no trust there is this disconnection between local enforcement and the community. Intervention between the community and police. I feel like we, as individuals in the community, just like we yearn for representation of minorities in the state and federal systems, um, the, the governing systems, I feel like we should also represent minorities in local enforcement. They need to start interacting with the police, not in a ne negative way. So it's more like of a systemic issue, which needs to be pretty much solved from within. But between the community and the police, it's gotten so bad that 
honestly, I can't think of an, a proper solution to that problem because it's gone to the point that you don't talk to cops. Understanding our community a little bit better and instead of um, having a negative connotation towards our community, it could become a better way of helping foster that trust between mm. the community and local enforcement. As you can see, the big issue here in Escondido is the collaboration between ICE and the police department. Due to that, many Latinos live in fear every day, scared to go outside, scared to come home one day and find out that a loved one has been deported. That is why many of the people I spoke to do not have many positive things to say about police. Something needs to change in our community. Because just like them, I'm also tired of living in fear every day.